Well, in other news, the family of a man who went missing last month is seeking answers tonight. 31-year-old Stephen Weech was last seen in Bimini on February 21st, but days after his body was discovered floating near a local resort. His brother now suspects that his sibling was involved in a smuggling ring that turned deadly and is appealing to residents of the Northern Island to speak up and out against these types of heinous acts. Jolanda Thompson Everest reports. It is still unknown what exactly happened to former Defense Force Seaman Stephen Weech, but his family says that the police investigated the matter and ruled his death as a drowning. However, his older brothers Bishop Marvin and Kyle Weech say that before his death, Stephen was allegedly responsible for smuggling 11 migrants and one Bahamian out of Bimini to the United States. However, they claim that Stephen was tipped off that the Bahamian on board was charged for murder. That's when they allege that their brother decided to turn the boat around and head back to Bimini. But they suspect that this decision did not sit well with the persons he was colluding with and they believe that this was the ultimate cause of his death. But here's what they say is the problem, criminal activity on the island that is not being addressed. It is alleged that he went across, turned back with the people and he was met with these so-called uh, ringleaders and whatever altercation took place on the boat, we can't speak to that. But whatever happened, uh, it appears that he was in fear for his life during that altercation. And what was said was that he jumped overboard. Although Bishop Marvin does not believe his brother died through drowning, he says this particular incident can be used to address issues like human smuggling. And there is all sorts of uh, illegal activity taking place, but, you know, we need to come together and try to rule it out because I don't think that uh, my brother had need, uh, should have lost his life uh, uh, in, this, in this type of manner because everyone could testify in Bimini that he is not the type of individual and, you know, normally we say that, but like I say, I don't want to make it about that. I want to just draw the light and bring the attention to what's happening. Bimini needs to change, and, and, and if, it, if it doesn't stop, someone else is going to be, be killed shortly or lose their lives. Now his brother Kyle is urging Bimanites to report crime and refrain from harboring those involved in criminal activity. We have our own people that we have known all our lives, that we have grown up with, that are, that are complicit, that know about these things and refuse to say, you know what, I know what happened. I want to say enough. And that's what, we, we, that's what we're appealing to the people to do. We're appealing to the people of Bimini to say enough. We're appealing to the powers of, that be to say enough. We want to stop this criminality from existing. We're going to stop it out. We're going to do whatever it takes. And we're going to root out these bad elements. Speaking with a resident currently on the grounds in Bimini, Pastor Oral Ellis says that while he does not condemn anyone for an offense without knowledge or proof, he says he does not condone criminal activities. I would wish that not only here in Bimini, but in the whole country, would cease and desist from the assisting of uh, penetration and influx of, of uh, guns, drugs, human, and all. We don't condone any of it. But as far as having uh, knowledge of who the ringleaders or players may be, it is only speculative and it is unfair uh, to uh, DM people that you know not of. For the Bahamas tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Julanda Thompson Everest.